Hi everyone, and welcome back to episode 50 of Mining with Ryan. How's it going? Um, if you remember, episode 49 was a megasode where I basically quote-unquote finished this area up, my main nether base area. Obviously, there is still some further aesthetic enhancements that will be made with time, but uh, I was super happy with how last episode went. And there was one thing I was thinking in between episodes that I wanted to change here. Just something really minor real quick. Right here. So, this, uh, this, this, uh, lava fall. I mean, it's cool. I like the idea of it, right? But what I wanted to do... Let me just put glass in this layer for now, just to make sure it doesn't spill into here. But I realized... It needs a little bit more character, right? So it's kind of just like a like a wall of lava. Well, I wanted it to be a lava fall, just like a waterfall, but with lava. So what I wanted to do is I, I wanted to let the lava out. Just like this. There we go. I don't know if that looks better or worse necessarily. Oh my goodness, what are you angry for? <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to give it something, like a little bit of character. Does this fall down here? No. Does, oh, it does fall down there. Shoot. <laughs> well, let's, uh, let's go down here and see how that looks. But essentially, I just wanted to give it a little bit of character more than just a, a flat wall like that, right? And we'll see. We'll see how that is. Maybe I'll change it back. Maybe I won't. But I just wanted to, wanted to do that, see how it looks comparatively. And then, uh, but yeah, I've been in the nether way too much lately. So I decided in today's episode, we're going to mix things up a little bit. And what I want to do in today's episode is I want to go ahead and go back to the tiny house project. Um, yeah, I figured that was a good thing to do for episode 50, right? I'm not doing a world tour. I'm going to wait till episode 100 to do a world tour. So I figured episode 50, let's go, let's do a, let's build, let's get my creative juices flowing, let's go do a tiny house. Um, if you remember, priorities 1 through 4, they are complete, or should I say commandments 1 through 4 are complete. Bridge in my mining area, that's the next one I'm going to work on, I believe. And then, yeah, I still have to enhance the ranch area, which I have a decent amount of work done on that, but there's still more to go. Fully enchant my gear, the frog emporium, the tower build, and then... Just continuing to improve my resource system. So that's what's left out of the Ten Commandments. One through four are done. Very exciting. See that? Episodes 47 through 49. I finished all the nether. Basically the nether base. And also, one other goal that I have is I want to go the entire 50s. We'll see if I can actually manage to do this. I want to go all of the 50s episodes without getting killed. That is my goal. Whether I actually succeed at that, we'll see, but that, that is the goal that I've set. The entire 50s episodes, I do not want to get killed. So let's see if I can actually pull that off. <laughs> my confidence level is uh, low, to say the least, but that's my goal. Oh, hello. Oh, my. What the heck? What happened to that guy? What is going on? That dude looks demonic. Oh, my. That dude is scary as hell. Why was there, like, particles coming out of him? You good, my guy? Hi. Dude, strange stuff. Strange stuff. But yeah, I figured, why not get my creative juices flowing today? You know, it's always important to test yourself and kind of push the boundaries. Um, so, I don't think I have enough wood... <laughs> <laughs> right off the get-go. Hence commandment 10. I want to uh, get better about my resource system, right? That's kind of what commandment 10 is for. And here I am again. I have another episode that I'm starting. And I don't think I have the resources that I need to be able to make a house right now. So I'm going to have to chop down some trees real quick unless I have a lot of wood here. Yeah, which it doesn't look like it. So that's unfortunate. The other question is, where do I want to put this house? Do I want to put it here? Don't know exactly where I want to put it. 
could put it over here as well. I could kind of... One problem, not that it's necessarily a problem, but the way this one is facing is unfortunate. But I think that's what I'm going to do, actually. I think I'm going to put it in this area over here. Yeah, just kind of do a little circle, right? Get this little circle going, and then from there, I see a creeper in there, by the way. And a skeleton. And a spider, okay. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on, skeleton, kill this guy. Okay, well, that's not going to happen. Now I need to lead him away. I don't want him to blow up my area here. Yeah, the fun thing about these tiny house episodes, in my opinion, is uh, I have nothing pre-planned here, right? There's no, there's no like pre-designing of the houses. It's kind of just whatever I come up with in the moment. So that's what I like about this project. This was the first one. This is what I came up with in the moment. I don't know why I decided not to add a house, but I really wanted to work on the interior, right? So I kind of like what I did with the interior, right? Just trying to mess around a little bit. This is the second house I came up with. Uh, again, interior. I was trying to be creative about it. Interesting about this one, I chose to do it with only one color. That was just the design choice I made. I have no regrets about that. that. That's the thing. You just, whatever comes out of this is what comes out of it. And it's cool. It's just a little test. This is the third house that I made. I actually really like the third house quite a bit. Um, I don't know, man. I feel like I killed it with this one. Maybe other people don't feel that way, but I, I love this one. So, yeah. What we're going to do is we're just going to chop down some wood. We're going to set aside a space right here. and We're going to build, and whatever gets built, gets built. Simple as that. And then kind of uh, next episode. I'll say episode whatever the next one, 51. That's when I'll get back to the commandments. Every once in a while, I'll just like to do this tiny house project. And I, th I think that's just how it's going to be throughout the series here. Just whenever I have that creative, that creative kick, if you will, I'll just go ahead and I'll, yeah, I'll do a tiny house. Basically, that's literally just, this is like my escape from the reality of, and I just finished such a big project, if you will, which is awesome, which I'm so freaking proud of. This is kind of my little escape, my little creative escape, if you will. One thing that's interesting, I've been a little, not distracted from Minecraft lately, but I've gotten into this strategy game called Dummy Nation. And uh, you'll, on my second channel, I've uploaded a couple of videos just to, like me winning in that game. But like, it's kind of like one of those things, like, it's like an addicting game to me. So I really have to be careful not to neglect this, you know what I mean? Okay, is this enough space here? Oh, hello, Mr. Zombie. I think I should have enough space here. I think I have enough space. Definitely have it maybe just this way. I want to give myself one more. So I'll move this and put it underneath that. Okay, yeah, just one more. That's good. And then I should have enough space for this one. I guess this one's going to be one higher. I could go lower. Interesting. Do I, I almost want to go one lower. I think I'm going to go one lower for this one. So this first entrance house can be higher than the rest of them, basically. And these three can kind of all be on the same level. Whether that's a good choice or not, I'm not sure. But that's the choice I'm going to make here. So... YOLO, right? That's all you can do when you're building. You just gotta, or when I'm building like this, I just gotta trust my gut. You know what I mean? And my gut's telling me to go one lower for this one. So that's what we're doing. After I cut this out, I'll go collect the wood that I need. And I don't have any wood design in mind other than I'm probably not gonna go pink this time because this one was so pink, you know what I mean? So I'm probably gonna go with a slightly darker color this time around. 
We will see, though. We'll see how it turns out. Or we'll see what palette I decide to go with. Right now, like I said, I just don't have anything in mind other than I don't want it to be pink. Yeah, I found lately that for the first time ever... Well, that's not entirely true. So when I was a kid, when I was a kid, I played Civilization 4 a lot. Like, I was, like, obsessed with Civ 4. Uh, but hang on, I'm going to make one quick adjustment. I'm just going to turn down the game volume just a little bit. Okay, I just wanted to turn down the game volume just a bit. But uh, when I was a kid, I was super into Civilization 4. Oh, I'm getting shot at by a skeleton. And, uh, you know, it was a game that I played, and, you know, I used to love trying to conquer the world. And I don't know if anyone played Civ 4, but there was a map of the world itself that you could, um, that you could play as. So that's what I used to do. Basically, you could, uh, there was a map of the world, or as realistic of a portrayal as the world as it can get in a game like that. And there was an 8 civilization option, and then there was an 18 civilization option. And I used to love doing both, and just, like trying to conquer the world so this game dummy nation and that was that was back when i was in high school man and i was just like obsessed with it and uh that's pretty much the only strategy game that i've ever really played is civilization 4 and it's something that i've always kind of thought of like maybe i would actually like to do more of that oh sorry about that <laughs> uh I, I swear i do that at least once or twice an episode uh, let's go empty out my inventory a little bit. Where basically, uh, I've always thought, like, man, I loved that game so much. What if I just played more strategy games? And I just never did, to be honest. Like, I never really played Civilization V. If, as I recall, I thought it was too different from Civ Four, and I just, like, couldn't get into it. And then... Um, Interesting, I feel like I would need like a half slab like right here to have it one lower like that. Maybe it's not the best decision to have it lower, but I'm just going to roll with it anyways. See if I can, maybe in hindsight, if this isn't the best decision, let's see what I can do creatively to make it look okay still. But, uh... oh wait, I have to empty my inventory. That's why I came over here. Uh, let's see. Let's just get some of this nonsense out of here. Okay, that's good enough. Yeah, Civ 5 was just too different from Civ 4. Like, I just couldn't do it. And then, you know, Civs 1 through 3 were like... Kind of like backwards, right? They were older, they were older versions of the game. And I was like, uh... So Civ 4 was the only one I could ever really get into. And... I found this game Dummy Nation recently, and I've been really into it. I don't, there are things I don't like about it, but it's kind of like bringing back that whole, oh, yay, I gave birth. It's bringing back that whole potentially being into strategy games. And I feel like Dummy Nation is just kind of a mediocre game, but it's just a game that you get that you can conquer the world sort of mentality. So that's why I've been so into it. It's kind of like uh, nostalgia, if you will. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting. It's making me wonder, man, maybe I should actually just play more <laughs> strategy games. And then the other thing that I've been into, and I've said this right from the get-go, that since I started this Let's Play, I haven't been watching any Minecraft YouTubers, because I don't want my world to be influenced by other Minecrafters. I want my world to be influenced. Like, I don't mind if my world is influenced by various things, right? Various things that I'm into. But I didn't want my world to be influenced by actual Minecrafters themselves, right? And other Minecraft Let's Players. And I still feel that way. But what I have been watching lately... Um... 
Hang on, let me go find a bed real quick. What I've been watching lately, it's kind of funny. <laughs> I find it kind of funny in hindsight. Uh, these YouTube videos that basically it's some sort of like robot voice that's reading stories from Reddit. Like uh, infidelity stories from Reddit. Am I the asshole stories from Reddit. Basically stories of people being crazy. And what they do is they have like a robot reading off the Reddit post. And then in the background, oh, I'm getting shot at already. In the background, they have some sort of game playing, gameplay, essentially. So you can just kind of like listen to the story and just kind of zone out to whatever like gameplay that's on there. Oh, hi. I'm just going to run for that guy. And basically, um, oh, there's another skeleton. Jeez, they're everywhere. That guy's on fire, though. Um, yeah, one of the games that's on there quite a bit is Minecraft. And it's these parkour challenges, right? These parkour Minecraft things. So while I haven't been watching any Minecraft Let's Plays, I have been watching the parkour Minecraft. And that probably has subtly influenced me in a way when it comes to this. that I would prefer not to be subtly influenced, right, by any sort of gameplay, but whatever. You know, it, it is what it is. Like, um, by any sort of Minecraft gameplay, but I have been watching that. So it, it's kind of funny. I Honestly, I probably shouldn't watch those, but it's so, like, addicting to listen to those stories, like, of people <laughs> people being crazy, you know what I mean? I'm sure y'all y'all understand what I'm where I'm coming from there. Ooh, come on. But yeah, so that that's the only Minecraft thing. And one thing I did notice the other day, and I only watched like the very introductory like minute of a couple of videos, but I did notice that Hermitcraft 10 came out just a couple days ago. Um, man, it kind of pains me to say because I almost want to, but I'm not going to be watching any of the Hermitcraft 10. Uh, but I did see the first couple minutes of Scar's video and then Mumbo Jumbo's video. Um, but yeah, I did notice that came out. So I hope, for my sake, I hope that brings kind of, and it's Hermitcraft 10, so it's a big season. I hope that uh, kind of uh, continues the popularity of Minecraft for my own selfish reasons, right? Um, let's see, how much wood do I have here? I'm not collecting. <laughs> I'm being very slow about this. That's okay. I could do oak, but my first one was kind of out of oak, too. I really need, like, a new wood type, I feel like. I need to go find acacia or something. I mean, I'm not going to do that today, obviously. But, like, I feel like by the time I do my next uh, tiny house project, I kind of want a different type of wood. I think what I'll do today is I'll do oak and then maybe spruce, kind of like a combination of those two. Something a little darker, since those are really my only darker options right now. So let's get a little bit more spruce, because I have over a stack of oak wood here. I know there's spruce somewhere in this area. Where was it? I think it might have been over here. Yeah, here we go. And I think this is just natural. I think this is just a spruce biome right here. But yeah, I've been a busy bee the last couple of weeks, man. Work has been uh, work has been preoccupying a lot of my time. And outside of that, that's where I've been playing Dummy Nation. So this is actually the first time I've played Minecraft in like two weeks, which is much, much more of a break than I would ever want to take. It's just, I think you all know, like sometimes life just gets in the way, right? Um. At least for me, life gets in the way, and I have a lot of different things that I'm trying to balance, and sometimes, yeah, sometimes life just gets in the way of that balance, right? That's kind of how it's been for me the last couple of weeks. I feel like I'm about to, hang on, I want to make another one of these before I run out. <clears throat> 
Okay, let's see. Let's just keep doing some spruce here. Actually, wait. Let me let this run. Actually, run out though. There you go. Okay. Yeah, once I get a stack of spruce, I think I'll just uh, go start building, right? I mean, um, I don't know. I might have to go collect more down the road, but that's okay. I wouldn't mind getting building. I'm already 20 minutes into this. But uh, I think next episode, I, I don't know what I want to do next episode. I'm not sure. We'll see. Okay, I have a stack, by the way. But All right. Let's just collect some of these saplings while I'm over here. Why not? All right, let's do it. Hello. <laughs> Dude, I think I've said this before, but we need a compilation of me saying hello to animals as I walk by them. Like, we... <laughs> I can't help myself. I see one of them, and I just like, Hi, how's it going? Like, I physically cannot help myself. Okay. Number one, I feel like, oops, that's not where I meant to put that. Okay, and I feel like we need half slabs. And I feel like there needs to be a layer right here. Yeah, there you go. That's better. Okay. Cool. Beyond just the houses, I want to make this entire area look nice, right? So... Okay, so yeah, this one is going to be lower, and that's okay. That's going to be the challenge to it, is that it's going to start lower. And I think what I'll just do right here. First things first, let me get some spruce. Let's just get some spruce slabs. Just build a little layer right here. Boom, perfect. Maybe I should do spruce. I think I did spruce here, right? I think that's spruce wood, but it it doesn't really... Oops. You can't really tell. So I feel like maybe the main thing on this one should be spruce wood. That's kind of what I'm thinking. That's kind of what I'm feeling here. As opposed to oak, because... Yeah, spruce might be the main thing here, but in the end, it's kind of acacia that looks like the main thing, right? So, or not acacia. Whatever that's called. What is that called? Cherry. It's kind of the main thing. Ooh, see? Oh, man. This is tough. How about right there? Hmm. Well, for now, I won't worry about that. Even if this don't look perfect. Make that a little more organized. There you go. Okay, okay. Not perfect, but that's all right. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm trying to remember what the foundation. I think I was doing 5x5 five five with all of these. 5x5 five five and then with like an exterior layer if I so desired. So I think the house itself should be 5x5. Five five. Let's get some spruce wood here. Where do I want to put this? Do I want to start right here? I probably want to... Eh, I can't really make it even with this one the way that I have it, can I? Hmm, interesting. How would this look? Does that look bad even though it's next to this? I, I don't know. Then what I could do is I could get rid of this layer, and then I can actually make it even with that house, right? Whether I'm a natural builder or not, I'm trying to be more careful with all... Actually, that's fine right there. I'm trying to be more careful with all this. Then, right here. So it can start... I would like to match it up. So I believe right here is where I want to start it. Yes, okay. Oops. Okay. Hmm. Man, oh man. This is an interesting choice. Because I want to match it up, but man, it just feels too close with this half slab layer here. What if I could 
here, here's a thought. Here's just a thought. And I'm just going to do it. <laughs> so it's not a thought. It's an action. These don't need to be here. Like, they, th this is, this is just, that's not a mainstay. That's just where I'm putting my materials right now. So I could even have this one further this way. I really could. Then this wouldn't look so close. And I think it would be alright. Okay. Yeah, now I think I can build this here and it'll be alright. There you go. Just a little more space. There just wasn't enough space. There you go. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Wow, dude. Guess it really is a tiny house. That's the point, I suppose. <laughs> okay. Let me just make it daytime real quick. Oh yeah, difficulty check. There you go, hard difficulty. Always got to do my difficulty check every episode. Make it daytime. Don't need any zombies killing me here. All right, let's eat before I reemerge to the world. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. So, what I think I was thinking about this one, okay? First off, is that that's good. That's that's the height that I needed to be. Okay. I was thinking about this one, okay? I would love to have something like a bench, okay? So what I would love to do... Oops, well, I didn't mean to place that there, but that's okay. What I was thinking, okay? Uh, I need to make a fence real quick. So let me make some fencing. Let me just kind of demonstrate what I was thinking, okay? So like that, and then what I need is that. This is what I was thinking, right? Except I feel like I wouldn't want it attached. Like, eh, maybe it's okay like that. I was thinking something along these lines. And then what you could do... Actually, this is interesting. This is interesting, okay? Just hear me out, or wait for me. Wait me out here, wait me out. Because I kind of like this idea. Uh, let's get some of this... Okay, let's make some more fencing real quick. This is what it's all about, though. You just have an idea, and you're like, yeah, let's just do it. Let's just see how it goes. Here. <laughs> That's not where I meant to put that. Right? So. Oh, interesting. I wasn't expecting those to not show, but basically, it's like a little bar. Okay, so now I can get little seats, which I think the best way to have a seat is like this. Oops, wrong way. There you go. Like a little bar. Right? Am I right? <laughs> maybe I should change the color on that I almost feel like what I want to do is I want to get let's just get 10 of those why not let's change the color of that beautiful then what I can do for this one See, it's like a little bar. Am I right? <laughs> oh, God. This is so fun, dude. I never... See, you never know what I'm going to come up with. Then like that. Boom. Okay.
All right, let's see. Okay, okay, okay. I like it. I like it. Got myself a little bar area. I almost wonder, what if I put the seats like a layer back? I'm just trying to like... Just to see how it looks comparatively. Because obviously it doesn't really look practical the way it was. Interesting. Oh man, I wish there was like a medium that you could do. Wish there was a medium. For now, I won't worry about that. For now, what I'll do is I'll just build a door right here. Boom, okay. How about I do an oak door? Oh man, I need to build another chest actually. Oh wait, okay, I have space to put something away. Alright, let's build another chest real quick. Just put some of this nonsense away. Definitely want that still. Okay. I like that. This is looking a little boxy up here, am I right? I feel like that's way too boxy. That's a problem. Let's see if I do that. Hmm. I don't know, man. I really wish there was an in-between. I wish you could have like half there. Half I, I know that's not how the game works and you have to play within the game, but that's what I would like to see happen. Like if I could have like a halfway there and halfway in this one, then I think it would be perfect. But for now, I'm going to leave it like this. Tell me what y'all think about that. Um, but yeah, I want to be creative with this house, like from an outside perspective, like I want to use the whole space, like the house is a tiny house, but this whole space back here, what can I do with this space to make it look nice? Maybe I can add some cherry logs. Maybe I can start a little garden, right? So like you can add a little thing of cherry logs. Maybe I should do cherry wood. Uh, have a little garden right here. Ah! Hey! Go away. Get out of here. Building. Eh, I don't know. Well, I could. The problem is, I feel like it would... No, no, I feel like that's not going to work. Okay, I have an I have an alternate to what I just did there, though. Basically, fence around that with the cherry wood, right? Here's your garden. Not a ton of space, but still. Here's where you could plant a bunch of flowers and stuff. Do I have any flowers on me? Flowers, are you here? Yes, okay, there are flowers. Any flowers in here? Could have some of those in pots. Okay. Like what you could do. Get a dandelion up in here. Get some other stuff up in here. Y'all see where I'm going with this? How about I do a half slab here? Can I make half slabs out of these? I wonder. Half slabs on the corners. Uh, let's see if you can do that with these. That would be awesome if you could. No, you can't. Oh, man. Come on, game. 
I do want to have some sort of half slab on the corners here. For now, I'll just do spruce half slabs. There you go. Okay, okay. Maybe that's not the best match, but we're just we're just experimenting, right? We're just experimenting, trying to play with the space outside the house. And obviously, we gotta make the house itself look less boxy than this disaster because that's a blah right blah that's all you can say about that man what to do about this what i'm gonna do for now is i'm gonna put it closer i mean it, in the end this is it's not actually for practical use right in reality Oops, that's the wrong way. Okay. Hey, let me up here. Come on now. Okay, that's... Oh, finally. Jeez. Yeah. hate to say it, but I think that's how I'm going to keep it for now. Let me know. If anyone's watching, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about that. Where I should put those. But this is what this is what this series is all about, man. It's about pushing my own limits. All around, pushing my own limits and trying to be better. Trying to get oh my god, dude. This, this I like the outside space, but the house itself uh it needs a little work. So let's worry about the house for now. Let's just go ahead and Build some spruce stairs real quick. Try and do something about this, you know, roof, I guess. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I see a zombie. Let's kill this guy. Yeah, I see you. Don't even think about catching my house on fire now. Okay, maybe I should add, like, fencing to the top here as well. Right, so I don't have a bunch of zombies and stuff dropping in on me uninvited. It's like a layer fencing here. Wouldn't mind that. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's get up, let's get up to the roof here. What I could do, I have an idea whether this will work or not, we'll just see. What I kind of am thinking, first off, let's just place a layer of these spruce planks right here. Here's what I'm thinking. Kind of similar, I believe that's how I did it on... No, it's not. That's how I did it on this one, which is fine. We'll see if this looks good or bad, or we'll see how this looks. Might as well just fill these in, honestly. Okay. My god, it's way... It's so tall. <laughs> Why is this building so tall? Oh my god, dude, it's... <laughs> Okay, this needs to be one shorter. That's the first thing. Good lord. Needs to be one shorter. Just this top layer, I... It is interesting, though. What about the glass, though? Hmm. There you go. It's not perfect, but it is kind of like you're sitting. Okay, okay. I can roll with that. Something I want to check with this glass. You can do this, right? That's right. How's this look? Is this more see-through? No, it's not. Okay. I feel like there's something that you can do with the glass to, like, get rid of the 
these, right? Can't you do that? Anyone know? At the very least, like it is kind of like you're actually sitting at the bar though. So I kind of like that. So this is good, even though it definitely looks a little too up close, that's all right. Hmm. What I could do, have that as the roof. How is this going to look? Upside down. That's how it's going to look. <laughs> so yesterday I went and I went to a college basketball game. Never done that. Well, actually, I have done that once before, but I went to a couple of college basketball games uh, yesterday. And it was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. And uh, the first coach was so freaking funny. Okay, how's this? This, man, it's just too tall. Like, what if I have it like this? Maybe it won't look so tall if I have it like this, which might be what I did over here. That is what I did over there. I'm okay doing that again. I'm okay using that same element that's okay just because it's too tall but i don't really want to redesign the entire building here Oh my god, what the fuck? That looks terrible. <laughs> okay. Here's what we're going to do. Forget about this top layer. Forget about this top layer. Here's an idea. Here's an idea. Okay. Just a thought. Just a thought. Okay, I think I can roll with this. I think I can roll with this. I have a thought. I need some oak wood. Do I have enough oak wood? I might have used all of my oak wood. Okay. Let's see how this looks. So last night, okay, I had a crazy dream last night. Okay. So I lived in Colorado. And which I actually did live in Colorado when I was a kid, by the way, but I lived in Colorado in this dream. Um, and I wanted, by the way, I want to see how this looks. The anyone that's lived in the mountains, I like Colorado. So I lived in Colorado Springs when I was a kid. Okay. Uh, all right. How does this look? Okay. Okay. I can roll with it. I can roll with it. Somehow I feel like that whole top area needs to be redone, though. But I can roll with it. And anyone that lives in Colorado knows that, or anyone that has lived in the mountains, the Mile High City, right? Denver is the Mile High City. Okay, so the altitude of these Colorado, t that area, the mountain area, and I lived in Colorado Springs, which also has a similar altitude of about a maybe 6,000 feet above, um, you know, sea level, which is really high. And I had this dream that I lived in Colorado and I was right on the border between Colorado and Mexico. And there was a town on the other side of the border that had an altitude of 12,000 feet. And it was this giant city. So basically, uh, you were on the mountains, right? You were on the mountains, of Colorado. Then it goes from 6,000 feet all the way down to zero feet to a river, right? So there's an entire drop off of 6,000 feet to a river that's right at sea level. And then on the other side of that river, which was Mexico, which obviously Colorado doesn't border Mexico in reality. Um, okay, what can I do with this top, by the way? I don't know what to do with the top. Um... Colorado doesn't border Mexico in reality, but basically it was the most beautiful dream that I've ever had in my entire life. Like, right? So you're up on the mountains of Colorado, 6,000 feet into the air, right? And 
you are on the edge of the mountain and you look 6,000 feet down and there's a river. And then on the other side of that big ass river, which was Mexico in my dream, was a mountain that went 12,000 feet into the air, right? So twice as, how, twice as high up as you were. And on top of that mountain, there was a mega city. I'm talking like a city of like maybe 2 million people on top of a mountain with 12, that was 12,000 feet into the air. And there was a mega city with like 2 million people in it. And if I remember right, but it, it was so pretty. I'm telling you, my dream came up, my mind in my dream just came up with the most beautiful thing that you've ever seen in your entire life. Now, in my dream, for some reason in my dream, I was, I just want to see, I was a kid again in my dream. I don't know why I was a kid again in my dream. I just was. Uh, let's see how this looks. But basically, I, as a kid, was trying to sneak, <laughs> sneak away from my parents and cross the border and go to... <laughs> it was so goofy, dude. I was basically trying to sneak away from my parents and then illegally cross the border into Mexico and to get to this beautiful town, basically. And, like, I was, like, exploring through the mountains, like, trying to get to the bottom of the mountain so I could cross... It was trying to get to the bottom of the mountain in Colorado so I could cross the border into Mexico and get to that beautiful town of two million people. Like, it, it was a really goofy dream, but the main takeaway from it is that, like, wow, I'm so impressed that my mind came up with something. Uh, do I have any more spruce planks, by the way? So, like beautiful you know what i mean even if it was in my sleep and that's where it's kind of like man i feel like i in my mind i have that potential to build oh shoot i had a whole stack already any sticks no okay like i feel like i have that potential to build something pretty you know what i mean it's just about putting it together <clears throat> and like well, yeah, just putting it together, basically, and making it happen. And that's what this less plays for. But that, I might... Oh, hello. Hi. Oh, no. <laughs> Dude. Get out of my house. Dude, oh, my goodness. Hi. Uh, you seem to have lost your friend up there. <laughs> Get out of my... <laughs> Oh, this is so freaking funny, dude. Good lord. Do I have any emeralds on me? I wouldn't mind a cactus, to be honest. No, I don't. That idea, though, okay, is something that I might revisit down the road. That came to me in my dream. Sorry, dude, I don't have any cactuses. Or, I don't have any emeralds. Where one side of a mountain, okay is shorter than the other side and it has civilization on it, right? And then there's a river at the bottom of it. And then on the other side is a giant taller mountain set with a whole city on it, right? So the smaller the smaller side of the mountain has civilization. Not quite, I mean still developed but not quite as developed as like a mega city. And then the other side of the mountain or the other side of the river has a taller mountain with the mega city at the top of it. Hi buddy. Don't know what to do with you. I don't even know if I can, like, make this guy my pet or anything, but... <laughs> that's so goofy. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. So, this is coming along. This is coming along. I kind of like it. I'm trying to decide what to do, if there's anything more that I should do. I feel like I need to do something more with the front here. And with this side, right? Over here, back here, I have this little garden. Here, I have the little bar. What about this side? I also want to add more fencing, and I think I'll do oak fence for this. Anyways, maybe maybe down the line, that dream that I had, maybe I'll revisit that. Could do birch fence just to mix up the colors. How bad would it be if I had birch fence here? Oh, well, that's the wrong layer. Just to be like, yeah, you ain't coming here, zombies. I could just add... Kind of a makeshift oak log there. 
facing the right way would be nice. Thank you. Perfect. There we go. Okay. And my inventory's full. Point is, I might revisit that. I, I, I don't know if anyone else... This is where I feel like there has to be something creative inside of me because the dreams that I have sometimes are just insane. Oh. Man, I need a better source of food than that. But this is, by the way, this is why I always like um, doing this tiny house project because it's always different. I always come into it with a clean slate and like what gets created is some random thing every single time. Is that the war? Is that the... Hmm. Okay. I don't know. Hmm. Do I want to do birch or do I want to do something else? Problem is I really don't have a lot of birch on me. Do I have a lot of oak on me either though? I do have enough. I think I'm just going to do oak instead. Mostly just because I don't want to go mine more birch. So we're going to replace this with oak. I don't know if you're ever going to despawn, but if you don't, that's uh, that's your new home, buddy. <laughs> is that a skeleton I see out there? That is a skeleton I see out there. Kind of like this. Perfect. Yeah, I think this is better than birch anyways, to be honest. No uninvited guests coming here. Oh, uninvited guest, not on my watch. <clears throat> Add a little bit of dirt up here. Kind of continue this through here. All right. Hmm. Well, for now, let's just do it through here. I'll decide what to do over there later. Okay, so I like having that back there. Okay, definitely need to go get more flowers. Can't plant one of these because it'll grow into a tree. I think there's a decent amount of flowers over here. What kind of what kind of door do I want to use? I don't really like the spruce doors. What do I have so far? I have cherry, I have oak, and then for some reason when I made this one, I decided not to make a door. I think I didn't make a door because I had some weird half slab thing going on. I, I don't know. but Oh, I had a half slab thing going on up here for some reason that I didn't want to fill in. Oh, because I think it would have trapped me. Basically, I, I'm i not going to change that now. Like when I made this, I decided not to put a door and that's just kind of how it is. So this one, I'm not going to do that though. This one's going to have a door. I feel like I don't like birch doors either. Pretty sure birch doors are kind of ugly. In fact, I think both birch and spruce doors are kind of ugly. Uh, let's see. I have spruce wood in here, right? Yeah, let's... Uh... I hate to say it, but I think I just have to go with oak again. I could do spruce. I mean, spruce isn't that bad, actually. Yeah, all right. Yeah, something definitely has to be done about the front here. The front just... Ugh. What can I do with this front? Okay, that definitely doesn't match. Okay, that, yeah, that doesn't match. Terrible color choice. Let's just see about getting, uh, 
Oops, well, that's not what I meant to do. Yeah, that, that's not going to work. <laughs> no. That looks terrible. Could do vines. Do I have any vines? See, I feel like it's always this corner. I always feel like the... Like, literally, every single time I build one of these houses, the corner is always what feels like it's missing to me, right? Here, maybe it doesn't feel like it's missing because there's stuff in the space beyond it. But, like, in the front here, it just feels like the corner needs something. I just feel like I always kind of resort to the same thing every single time. Of... I don't know. That's obviously not going to work. Hmm. What if I have... Uh... Nah. about here? What if I do it here? Need more half slabs real quick. Yeah, actually, so here, here I'll be asking for a little bit of advice here for from anyone that's actually, you know, like, good at building. What do you do about these, this situation? What would you do to make this corner more lifelike. What would y'all do? Now it just feels like it should be going around the entire thing, right? Over here. I could just add another bar on the other side. Like, just add another bar over here at least. I think that's what I'll start by doing, because I'm, I'm a little stuck right now, to be honest. One thing about this tiny house, even if the house itself isn't the best one that I've made, I'm really happy that I am going beyond the house. I'm considering the space around the house. You know what I mean? And I, it's not like I haven't done that before. <laughs> kind of. I mean, this one I kind of did. But, like, y'all know what I mean. Like, I'm considering the space around the house. And I've never really done that before. So, I'm trying to take into consideration the entire area beyond just the build itself. Interior. What else? I'm actually okay with the interior. I feel like wouldn't mind on these corners. Actually, you know what I wouldn't mind doing? Let's get this bottom one out of here. Getting some leaves in all the corners. Spruce might be better because it's darker. Let's use spruce leaves. Okay. Then up here, I can actually put the bed out in the open. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. I kind of like this. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Okay. Okay. We rolling.
get me some more flower pots. Could do is here. Ah, no, that'll probably look weird actually from the outside. Yeah, that looks weird from the outside. Do I have any lapis here? Alright, let's try obsidian. Let's see how that looks. Oh, I could do cherry wood instead of obsidian. There we go. Okay. Then you come up here, and this can be like a bedroom, if you will. With a llama in it, obviously. <laughs> Then you just gotta hope no monsters come from above. Which if they do, then so be it. So that's what the roof can be. Mix up the roof a little bit on this one. It doesn't have to be a classic roof. Okay, so let's go ahead and get a bar on this side here. That I did spruce fence. Okay, so I have enough for that. Then I did uh, oak top, which I think I have enough of those. Nice. Oops. Okay, then oak stair, or spruce stairs. Good, I have enough of those as well. Okay, then the back has the garden. Could. Let's try this in the front. How does this look? Okay, okay. Wouldn't mind getting, like, uh... Might destroy the door temporarily. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay, good. Uh, no. That needs to be spruce, I feel like. Huh? I'm going to actively fight my need in this build. Whether it's for better or worse. Huh? Gonna actively fight my need to have something in the corners that I always seem to need something in the corners, right? Gonna fight that this time. And I'm actually gonna actively not put anything in any of the corners. I will put this here, and then the corners are gonna be blank. For better or for worse. I need to overcome that mental, that mental sort of deal right there, and I think I'm good. God, what I really want. I want <laughs> something different, at least, on the ground there. I don't know if that's better or not, but. Right, let's just do pathing around it. There's one right there, too. Okay, fair enough. Maybe, maybe that's a bad choice, but that's what I'm going to do. Oh, sorry. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I need to fight this urge that I always have to have something in the corners. There has to be a better solution to it, but for now, this is my solution. Let me know what y'all think about that. Let me know if you have any ideas, because I would love ideas. Okay, now what I need, I need wool. I'm sure I have wool somewhere in here. I think I saw black wool, but I only have one. Might need to go somewhere else to find some wool. 
All right, yeah, let's go. Let's go on a little mission for wool real quick, and then I can come back with a clear eye and take a look at that. Okay. One thing I wouldn't mind doing too at some point is kind of making this pathway entrance into here a little bit clearer, right? A little bit more developed. I hear a chicken. I heard a chicken give birth. I don't see it though. But yeah, making this like an actual developed pathway through here, you know what I mean? One way it can lead to this bridge, which I'm going to make eventually, right? That's one of my remaining commandments. And then one way to just my little nether portal base over here. I wouldn't mind lining this nether portal up a little bit better, right? From the path over here, right? Right now it's a little awkward the way it's set up. It's okay from like this base area, it's okay. But I'm just saying from the path itself, it's a little awkward. Do we have any wool? Okay, I might need these shears. Oh wait, I don't want to get rid of that though. Okay. Oh, hello. Dare I fight these guys? Dare I? Do I have the guts to fight them? even though I don't want to die for 10 episodes? I don't think so. I don't think I have the guts right now. I don't want to take any sort of risk. Hello. Oh god, they're trying to enter my base. Alright, I'm going back this way. The stupid thing is I used to be able to kill those guys all the time, and now they're like some unbeatable enemy for me So for some reason. I need to get a bow back. That's what I really need to do. A bow, an enchanted bow. I had an enchanted bow for the longest time because I, I'm pretty sure I got it when I was fishing. Here's some wool is, but I won't use that. The most important thing is not getting killed for in the 50s. Okay, so that means... Oh, look at all these eggs. They're everywhere. I could use this sheep right here if I get two from this guy. Alright, let's just go ahead and shear this guy. If I get two from him, then I should have enough. Okay, that is enough, but I do want to see if I have any other options just in this chest over here real quick. Okay, white, gray, but I don't have enough of either of those. Any in here? All right, black bed it is then. Uh, you know, I actually might work on this next episode. I think that would be a good thing to do. Next episode, I think I'll work on this, and then while I'm doing that, I might throw in some sort of resource collection. So I'll work on this as part of Commandment 10, right? My... Uh, you know, resource system, basically. And then I'll probably throw in some sort of mining session where I can either get a bunch of wood, right, for the bridge that I'm going to build in a couple episodes here, or uh, um, a stone mining session for the stone tower. I use so <laughs> I use so much stone on the uh, the whole nether base area. Well, I need a whole bunch more stone for the mining it, or for the uh, tower that I'm going to be building. So, so I think that's what next episode is going to be. Episode fifty. Even if I'm not doing a world tour, I wanted to do something kind of special. Like in my eyes, I, I really like this tiny house project. It's special. It's creative. You know what I mean? It's something different. That's kind of why I wanted to do that for today's episode. But uh, yeah, you know for. Next episode, I think it's just back down to business. Okay. Yeah, I'm still just going to actively fight having something in the corners here. 
It's really fucking hard for me to do that, though. Have to be strong. Okay. Whatever. Let's uh let's build this bed. Have enough wool now, because I know I have one more here. Yep, okay. It would be cool if you could have like the bottom of the bed be a different color also, right? Uh where's my wood at? Here we go. Like, if you built the bottom out of, like, spruce or cherry log, like, it shows up as that kind of special color. Okay. So, bedroom it is. Hey, well. Oh. All right, dude. Don't be mad. I, I kind of want to push you off so you can go be with your master again. I'll let you decide that, though. Okay. What else can I build up here? You want to go be with your master again? I feel like I kind of just want... Do I have any cobblestone? That'll work. You know, just normal tools. If I remembered how to make any of the other shit, I would add some of that, but I don't remember how to make any of that, so. Can just get a couple chests. Get a little crafting table. Like, can I, does this do something? No. <laughs> Guys, I don't remember how to make anything. I really don't. But I'm also a stubborn asshole who's not going to look it up either. Scene, okay. Plant, put, a, put the last one of these on here. Oh, you can't do that. Oh, that's unfortunate. Let's just get all this. All right, let's go get some flowers. I definitely want somewhere up here. I want to be able to put this last planter. right there one more right here okay I don't have anything in that yet right okay good kind of want to reorder this I feel like <laughs> down I go <laughs> Where you can be nice and toasty at night time. Hmm. Still not satisfied. Eh. <laughs> okay that'll do that'll do let's uh hopefully i have three more uh whatever the hell those are called good i do get one more pot and then let's go on a flower hunt Dude, go, re go reunite with your master. Get down there. Get down there. 
Trust me, it's gonna hurt, but it's for your own good. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Get down there. Go. <laughs> Dude, he's like an immovable force. I don't want to hit you. There. Go be with your master. Now take this lead. <laughs> oh, God, dude. That didn't work. Alright, I'm pretty sure there's... Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of flowers over here. That's what I thought. Let's just go flower hunting. Lily of the Valley. Oh, that's just a sapling. Okay, got some of these. Don't want to take them all or anything. There has to be more over here. definitely don't want it to be only Lily of the Valleys. Hmm. Oh, here's some uh, yellow flowers are. I see red flower. That's good. Ooh, cave system. This whole freaking, the extra episode I did where I was trying to find a cave system. Like, I was wandering around like a freaking maniac trying to find a cave system. I did an extra episode on my second channel. It was a no commentary thing where I was just trying to find like a, like a new cave system. And I found one, but it was after a, oh goodness gracious. It was after a ridiculous amount of re or exploration. Which is kind of funny, because... Literally, wow, look at this. There's a freaking cave system right here, of course. <laughs> and I oh, I think I'd much rather use this cave system, to be honest, because it's closer than the one I found. That whole session was cursed. So I think I'll use this one instead. I just got to remember that it's here. Okay. Well, more variety can come, but uh, this is fine for now. Now let's just... Ooh, here, here another one is. Oh, yeah, this is perfect. Give me some white ones, some blue ones, another yellow one. More lilies of the valley, I see. Is that just another lily? No, that was something different. Oh, nice. Yeah, another one of these. There we go. Okay. Now I should have enough. All right, let's do it. Wait a minute, what is this? <laughs> Dude, I don't know if this will actually turn into an actual cave system. Apparently, when I was searching for cave systems, I was going blind or something. <laughs> that, that extra episode that I did, I was going blind. There's literally one right underneath my, my area here. Oh, dude, it pains me so much to not have something on the corner there. I have to stay strong. It's for my own good. Alright, let's get... Oh, why is it facing that way? No. Oh. Let's get one that's not directional. Let's go ahead and get this uh, blue one, the cornflower. Actually, I'll just use both cornflowers right there. Okay.
All right, let's get this last one right here. I wouldn't mind see if I can let's see if this even works. I don't know if it even works because this. All right, I'm not going to worry about that. Okay. Then down here, we can have variety hour. Where are the yellow ones at? Oh, I used them both. That's why. That's right. Perfect. All right, guys and gals, of course. It ain't perfect. It ain't perfect, but it's done. It's done. I'm happy. I'm happy. That's what this so that's what this whole series is about, guys. It's about testing my own limits and pushing my own boundaries. Uh, let's just move those out of the way. Thumbnail time. Uh, let me get this out of here. This is my thumbnail right here. Bam. Beautiful. Now, I still have nine minutes left. Let me see if I can lead this guy. Huh? Sir, take your... <laughs> take your llama back. How do I... Take your llama back. Take it. How do I unlead this dude? I don't know. Thank you. Take him. Take your llama. Please. Oh, now I'm on him. I don't know if he's happy about it. No, he's not happy. Love me. Hey, he loves me. All right, I have a pet llama now. What is that that I can put on him? Not that. Thank you. Sorry that I hit you earlier. Dude, I just stole your llama. You don't even care. What kind of owner are you? Okay, let's go get my book. Let's go get my book. Let's go do some writing. Um, then we can prep for next episode really quickly, which there isn't a lot of prep for, honestly, but let's go do some writing anyways. Are these guys still here by chance? There was no risk today. I was not, I was not going to be willing to, to get killed by anything today. Obviously I'll have to take that risk again at some point, but today was not that day. Ooh, that looks interesting. Hmm. Okay. Still a lot of work to do, even though this is done. I mean, there's still work to do to make this whole area look better. I'm really happy because it's an area that I fully completed. You know what I mean? Right, I had a project, I said I'm doing this project, and I actually did it. But, I'm not going to pretend like this is some masterpiece, right? It still has plenty of work that needs to be done. Oh, look at that. This is good, actually. This is good for the, uh... I gotta remember this. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. For the bridge project that I'm going to do. Yeah, I ain't trying to pretend like this is some architectural masterpiece right <clears throat> it's what i came up with and i'm proud of it but i know there's still room for improvement and i'm going to try and improve it right everything i'm just glad that i had something that i wanted to complete and i completed it uh let's see yeah this didn't quite turn out how i pictured it turning out either by the way like when i expanded this i thought it would be like really pretty 
It's just not quite doing what I thought it was going to do. We'll figure something out with this. I think this is great in concept, and I'm going to keep it. I just need to find a way to keep it in such a way that it looks really good, basically. All right, let's do some writing. Episode 50. Uh, let's see. Built my fourth tiny house. Took the surrounding space. Consideration ever before. Expanded lava fall. And got myself pet llama. Silly trader. Okay, cool. Donskis. And with that, well, actually, I won't. I won't end the episode quite yet because I still got six minutes. So let's head over to where. <laughs> that was on ominous. Let's head over to where my next episode is going to be. Uh, next episode. I'm going to be working on commandment number 10. And that commandment is expanding my resource system, which means I'm going to be expanding this farm that I have here that I'm going to go over to in a minute. And I'm going to be doing more trades, right? And hell, what I'll probably do also... Okay, these guys despawned, which is good. Um, I'll do some sort of mining session as well in the episode, whether it's to get more wood or more... Even though I think I have enough wood, actually, so... Probably just to get more uh, stone for the tower that I'm going to build. Also, keep doing stuff like this. Expanding my pumpkin farms. This one looks like it's fully planted. Uh, is this one fully planted? Maybe I can even add another pumpkin farm. No, this one's not fully planted. So this one, fully planting this one. Um, that's the plan for next episode. Expanding my farm system out in this area doing some more trades with the villagers over there. Uh, let's see. Nope, I don't have... Okay, I thought I had a chest over here. Leveling up, if I can, so I can enchant my tools. I just gotta... I really need to just not get killed, and then I can finish that commandment. Piece of cake. Obviously, my village, Pumpkin City, is over there. And this farm that I created is over here, and I want to be a little bit more organized about this farm. So I want to, I want to get it where beetroot's in one section, and obviously I want to expand all the sections here. Beetroot in one section, wheat in another section, carrots in another section, potatoes in another section. So that's kind of the game plan here. Uh, hopefully there's not a lot of lag, because I know in the past when... I shouldn't even say that. That's an immediate turnoff. <laughs> in my, whenever someone says a negative like that, that's an immediate turnoff for me. Like, oh, why would I want to watch if there's going to be an issue? But uh, in the past, I have had lag in this area just because I have a potato computer and there's a lot of entities, obviously. So basically, I'm going to try and organize this farm a little bit, go do some trading, that sort of thing. Get my resource system going properly. And uh, thank you for watching. Always really happy to do one of these tiny house episodes. Always have a blast with it. More of those to come. More of those to come. It's just a fun thing to throw in there every once in a while and just have this little district that I can expand and kind of make my own, right? So thank you for watching. I'll be back next time. Enjoy and uh, have a good one.